And welcome guys, I'm Dingsy and this is Amiba TV with the let's play of Agatha Christie, the ABC murders. So we explored the mansion. And now we have to explore the surroundings. Let's see what we can find outside. Something cool. Maybe someone. Where is the horrible smell of carrion coming from? What you think? Audible smell. Looks lovely though. Or everything. Something makes me feel uncomfortable. Really? Oh shit. Brown pellets. <laughs> Revolting. That was the poison. Okay. Ta -ta. The gardener does not follow the alignment. There, that's better. It is symmetrical. OCD. There, that's better. It is symmetrical. Just two eagle points. Fucking ravens. Okay, yeah, here, water. Need to go to the toilet. Come on, let's move and stop that. Oh boy. What the hell? I would like to congratulate Clark Gardener. What symmetry? Yeah, pretty cool. This fountain makes a very relaxing sound. Mm, for your bladder. What's this? I want to see. It was probably the gardener who lit this fire. There was fire? Look here. I wonder if someone wanted to get rid of these papers. Most definitely. The subject will probably be useful to me. What did we get? Let's now try and get our brain cells to work. Fine. If you insist. Okay, hold up. There we go. Why did Toro leave personal belongings behind? It began to settle. Affairs. Carmenk. Mm. I don't think this makes any sense. I agree, it doesn't. Why did why did you leave person behind? No idea. Combinations, I have no idea. Why did you leave them? So she likes him, but what do you mean personal belongings? I think those were all gifts and she just left them. Unless A dag is missing? I don't think. No. He left the dagger. Why would he give her a dagger though? <sighs> Let's try the first three. Not that many combinations. And just look like a fool. A 
Are we sure we can do this? Don't we miss elements here? I'm just brute forcing, guys. Like, I just don't understand why did she literally, if she was, what? She checked the files, fed the, the keyword the names, or what? What I just wanted to. No idea. Let's pull all portal here. No? I have no idea. the gifts expert in our history and left a letter and dagger is missing I don't get it help What personal belongings? The brush and the... I don't know. My grey sails are not working. And he's brute forcing it. the harder way to do it I don't even know doesn't make any sense I don't know what the game is trying to tell me why my game. I think we're missing something. Little great sales. What did we found here? Yeah, we need to read that fucking paper before. If someone has tried to get rid of these documents, they may be important. Sure, but... How? Oh. This, this is the work of the cure? What? The content is essential, but I can't understand anything. The king doesn't... Doesn't help, we need, I guess, to go somewhere to... You can even explore fully the surroundings. Oh. They already put something here? What the hell? That was fast. May you have peace, Carmichael. Charlotte. We thought she was gonna die first. Surprise. Answer the unresolved questions. God damn it. Why she left? Okay, let's start. Dagger? I 
I have no idea. I think we did that already, but... I just don't understand, can there be a missing clue? I guess... No, there must be a way to answer. What the fuck? Everything that Thor Grey has left behind comes from Sir Carmichael's collection. He most probably gave them to her. But she chose to leave them here rather than run the risk of being accused of theft. It is understandable when you know just how what? much Lady Clark mistrusted her. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. The fuck? I didn't even understand what did I put there. What a poisoner. Poison rat at the crime scene. Get ordered rat poison. Think stories about to poison her. Manipulative. So what? He's not a poisoner. Gray had no reason to kill someone who only had a few months left to live. Yeah. The poison she ordered was for rats. The gardener must have made good use of it, considering the stinking remains on the path not far from the property. Like that rat could not stink I that much. Here. I mean, I must put the skeleton key back and inform Hastings that I'm returning to London. <sighs> well, that was kind of tough. That was. Grey cells did not work for me. I'm not going to learn how telephone high things okay. Hurry up, Poro. Let's go. We need to figure out what's in the burnt papers and how do we know this is like what the work of a cure? No way. Loading into loading. Into loading. Into phoning. I must put the skeleton key back and in April nine. Perfect. Nothing else is keeping me here. Go. Hello, Hastings. I have finished in Shurston. I will take the first train. Tell me, do you know how to restore writing on a burnt document? Um. Yes, you just have to soak a cloth with a hydrochloric acid solution and rub the sheet of paper. Then the characters appear. Got it. Yeah. You have been of great assistance, Hastings. Could you please order the solution as soon as possible? Of course, but what documents do you want to read? You will see, my friend. Accessoire. Accessoire. Well, well, Don well. Fraser is here. He insisted on waiting to see you. He's gonna marry the, the, the other chick? What? I guess I'll talk to him and then we'll. Hungarian mustache, oh boy. September already, damn. Let's look at the dude. This oh. man is tired. You don't say. Dark circles. Shaven, damn, and wrinkled. Colonel is short of sleep, and it looks as if he didn't even bother to undress before going to bed. He just slept like this. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we better talk to him. Mr. Pado, I don't know why I'm here. What? I accuse him of being guilty. Nah.
What will, what will Poirot do? You wanted to talk? And you came to find the only man capable of hearing you. Yeah, probably that. Mr. Poirot, since Betty's death, I've doubts about myself. I don't know what to do. And I keep having a horrible dream three nights in a row. What? Yeah, keep going. Have a drink and tell me about this dream. I don't think Poro is going. Oh, plus three points. Okay. Hey, David. It's always <laughs> the same. I'm on the beach with Betty. I grab her around the throat and I squeeze. And what? Squeeze until she's dead. Her head falls back. And I see that it's no longer Betty. <laughs> what? It's Megan's face. Oh boy. Dude. Have you seen Megan Barnard recently? Yes, our grief has brought us together. I never really knew her before. She's really quite a remarkable girl. There you go. But I would never tell her about my dream. Yeah, cuz... Why not? Is it her you are attacking in your dream? <laughs> no, it's Betty. And once Betty is dead, it's Megan's face that appears in its place. Very interesting. That's fucked up, bro. I don't know. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. What? Are we dream interpreting? Are you fucking serious? Next time we will palm reading as well? God damn it. Two murders were premeditated. Oh no shit. So he's in love with Betty. Got it. Donald was a violent man. Does not kill Megan in his dream. Donald is tired. He is guilty about killing Betty. Really likes Megan. Nope. With Betty, violent man. Does not kill Megan. YouTuber killing Betty. No, he's not a killer. And really likes Megan. There we go. Got it. He's feeling guilty about Mr. having. Fraser, I think that the real meaning of this dream is that you are in love with Megan Barnard. Mm. Please go on. Do. This dream certainly betrays your guilt. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you feel guilty about? Having killed your fiance? Possible. Nah. Or forgetting her very quickly for her sister? Certainly. And this forgetting is perceived as a second death. So you don't really think I was the one who killed Betty? I do not no. exclude this theory. I am simply saying that I do not need to know that fact to explain your dream and your guilt. Thank you for being frank, Mr. Poirot. You've helped me a great deal. I'm going back to Bexhill. I'll not take any more of your time up. It is late, oh, Mr. Fraser. Thank God. You are tired. I'll sleep on the train. I like trains. Like Sheldon. It's easy to sleep rocked by the sound of the wheels. Yeah, I agree. Poor boy, he seems completely lost. Please, he's in love. seem to like him. I think Megan will take care of him. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Oh, I remember. Did you order the product I needed? Hydrochloric yes, acid? we'll be receiving it tomorrow. Oh, Bien. boy. It is late. And ask Miss Gray to come tomorrow. Amazon Instant, come I have on. I few questions I wish to ask her. Miss Gray, why did you leave everything behind? What were you doing with the... files? Oh, there we go. I asked you here in order to answer a very important question. Mm-hmm. Did not see anybody at the day of the murder. Would I just accuse her? Just accuse her? Like, bro. Tell me about your meeting with the murderer. But what <laughs> are you talking about? Yet, Lady Clark maintained that she saw you talking to a stranger on the front doorstep. Mm -hmm. Really? She must have been mistaken. Oh, yeah? Oh, I remember now. I'd forgotten all about it, but it wasn't important. It was just a salesman. One of those traders who sell stockings from door to door. You sure? Can you describe him to me? Medium size? Mm, 
glasses, dark suit. Yep, that's the murderer. Hat. Not the sort of man you notice. Completely harmless. That's why I forgot all about him. Hmm. Nothing else? He was very hesitant and shy. Usually door to door salesmen are very confident. But he wasn't. Maybe she's telling the truth. Whether she resigned of her own free will. Will. Departure is suspicious. I don't know, yeah, let's point that one out. Mademoiselle, the circumstances of your departure do not appear very clear. Mr. Poirot, your questions are offensive. Why, thank you. I don't wish to lie. Lady Clark did not appreciate my presence. Mm -hmm. And Franklin cannot go against the wishes of a sick lady. He is a good man, and he worries a great deal about his sister-in-law. I noticed that you left some personal belongings behind at Churston. Yep. The objects presented a risk. Yeah, probably. She was a manip According to the dying lady, she was a. She is a manipulative bitch. I'm gonna agree with that. There we it was go. Too risky for you to keep these objects. Am I correct? Say it. Risky? What was Say it. the risk? Those eyes. Hey, that the curse of the dragon is on her. Ooh. Keeping the brooch might have brought the curse of the dragon on you. What? The curse of the dragon? It's a good subject for a story. Mr. Poro, what sort of world do you live in? Mm. Yeah. I must ask you one last question. Please reply frankly with either yes or no. If Lady Clark had died, would you have agreed to marry Sir Carmichael if he'd ask you? How dare you ask such a question? Easy. Sir Carmichael treated me just like his daughter. And all that I ever Please. felt him was affection and gratitude, nothing else. You were leading him on. Thank you, mademoiselle. I will not keep you any longer. God damn it. Didn't say a thing. But I knew it. I met Thora Gray on the stairs. Her cheeks were ablaze and she appeared to be deeply hurt. Oh. Poirot, have you offended the poor girl again? Oh, Do you come have on. good reasons for accusing her? I accused her of nothing, Hastings. Exactly. I simply asked her an important question she did not answer. Let us see if we can answer it for her. Oh boy. <coughs> Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. No, not again. Answered on this off question. Would Tora have married? Yeah, no shit, of course she would. Expensive brooch. What else? It's a Dickless. There we go. Gonna marry him, kill him, and then. Well. The relationship there. We go. No. What's this? Likes Franklin. Don't buy it. Then she says she's like a father. I don't know. What's this? She's a seductress. Oh god. Look how Michael is the victim. And his wife is dying. Oh boy. I have no idea. Yeah, the, the brush doesn't kind of fit into this. Would we'll have married. He's evasive. And maybe the likes. Let's go. It's a scriptress. No? One of those must be. Oh god, are we gonna do this again? I'm lost! When will we use that she's a seductress? Wait a second. We can always check the next question. In the 
get a cells. No? Can't. Fucking hell. Those last few grain cell, brain cells shits are really confusing. Who Thor have married? And the answer is just like, okay, so... The answer is... <coughs> Either yes or no, so if she's a seductress, and we're going with yes, this has to be on the board. She likes Franklin. So let's see, let's go with no. He likes Franklin. He's evasive about the relationship. And returned the brooch. And stood behind. I don't know. Okay, let's go with yes. She's a seductress. He found her charming. And she liked him. That doesn't fit with the seductress. It's evasive about it. The brooch. Okay, we would ask him Toro, so this is has nothing to do with it because it's Sarkar Michael. <coughs> I'm lost. She's evasive. That could go either way. Is she really gonna marry him? She was fucking rich. And the answer is probably yes. I don't know. Just start brute forcing it. There we go. Certainly would have succeeded. You must know how to read between the lines, Hastings. When Sir Carmichael refers to paternal affection, he is lying to himself. Read this engraving on the brooch. A dark dragon for an angel with glossy hair. Mm -hmm. These are the words of a lover, not a father. Lady Clark was not wrong. Yeah. What if Sir Carmichael had fallen in love with his secretary? That doesn't mean that she forced him to do so. True, there are extenuating circumstances. She is a penniless orphan. But she is calculating. Just look how she avoided it when asked if she would have married Clark. He was not I there. See. You think she seduced Sir Carmichael for her own gain, and that now she is doing the same with his brother. Praro, your world is a very dark place. Mm, thank you. Do not get carried away, mon ami. We have another more important matter to settle. Yeah, we really? need to read the letter. The letter. Yes, Come on. would you believe that Miss Grey taught me something new? What was that? Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Wait a second. Is there another common point between the murders? The files were disturbed. A stocking box and an account book. The murder is a seducer. This sort of resort. How is that? Unable to precisely describe what? A box of stockings. Wait a second. A box of stockings. What was? What another common point between the murders? So what is only three murders? I thought we we're gonna go higher than that.
box of stockings. And the nonsense. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Hold up. Let me quickly check. What's going on? I don't see anything. Cool. Get back to it. So what? The murder is a seducer. Many people of the day of the murder. You said no. That's not it. And what is it? Material proof. Is so. But if the murderer is a seducer, she looked very shy to her. leave this on top because I think this is part of the seducing thing and then just arrange Why is that a common though? Just the one dude. What else is common? Yeah, the mother's upset. No. It's a popular. And there were many, so what if he's not a seducer? Object of value. No, that, no way, that's. And this one? God damn it. My brain cells are refusing to work. Just don't understand it. Whatever. What? It's perfectly clear, Hastings. Perfectly clear. Sure. Indeed, a stocking seller visited Andover, Bexhill, and Churston on the day of each murder. Oh. We have our suspect. This should be of interest, Job. I didn't think of that. God damn it. He was selling stockings. But I thought they just sell them normally, not just door to door. Oh, do we need to call him? Yeah. Okay. Yo. What about the fucking burnt paper? Chief Inspector, we are looking for a stocking salesman. I see mm -hmm. you have a suspect? No? Yes. Contact all the what? stocking wholesalers who may employ him. Your suspect is a salesman? No, he does not take orders. He sells door to door. Right. The hunt is on. That is so vague, no way we're gonna catch him like that. No way in hell. Oh, he's moved to D. There's the dude. Well? Are you leaving, Mr. Cust? Yes, I'm going to Cheltenham. You shouldn't travel today. You don't look very well. I have to. I... I have engagements. I must respect them. Delight. He was going to the D town. 
Well, can you get the post ace things? There we go. And why don't you go and get it yourself? Oh yeah, because you're younger. Move. Yeah. What's I'll going go get on? It. I've never known ace things to be so disagreeable. He's pissed about something. I like the post. I think it's time for the dim murder. Is there a letter? Yes, there is. Okay, short stop. Hold up. 